Hello everybody, it's your girl Brea Van Kooten and welcome back to my channel. We are back with another video. As you guys can read by the title, we are here with a spring haul. I have a couple things. It's a very small haul, definitely one of my smallest hauls that I've done in a while. But yeah, I have a couple things that I got for the spring. So yeah, I just want to show you guys, talk about them, link it down below in my description box. And as you guys read by the title, there's one big purchase. I finally got my Hermes bracelet. So I'm going to show you guys which one I got. And yeah, all that good good. So without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> from the thrift store. I got it from Beacon's Closet, yes. Thrift store here in New York City. If you, ever, if you are ever in the New York City area, definitely check out Beacon's Closet. Definitely one of the good ones, as well as Old Train Vintage, the Urban Jungle, which is a connection to Old Train Vintage. So yeah, check those out. But I went into Beacon's Closet and I got this skirt right here. It's this asymmetrical, denim skirt i'm gonna link a video and a picture because i did wear it back in february so i'll show you guys how it looks on but yeah once i saw this skirt i was like it is so good love the asymmetrical look love the detail i've been wanting like a really cool denim skirt for a while and i wasn't really finding one that i was in love with there's one that i really really liked from last year but then it sold out on zara and i missed it but then i wanted to find another one and when i saw this i was like yeah she's the one like i said i thrifted it it was only 18 dollars, and yeah it was thrifted so it's a least likely chance that i will find this if i do find it or find something similar i will link it down below as well as all the other items that i'm going to talk about it will be linked down below in my description box if you guys want to buy or shop anything that i'm talking about so definitely check the description box but yeah can't wait to style it some more and wear it going into the spring and summer the next thing that i got so the next four items are gonna be from ralph lauren so first things first i got was this pink linen blazer you guys can't see the full thing on my screen looking at my screen can't see the full thing on my screen but i will show you guys i'm gonna try it on and show you guys how it looks on but love this freaking blazer so happy to have it in my possession it is from the men's spring collection so it does fit of course it fits oversized but i am gonna go take it to my tailor and get it taken into my body i do have the matching pants i got the matching pants two years ago but they didn't come out with the blazer two years ago so when i saw that the blazer came out i was like I have to have the blazer because I have to do the whole suit. Like I have to do a whole pink moment for the springtime. But before I tailor it and take it in, I'm gonna wear the blazer as like a blazer dress and then I'm gonna take it to the tailor and then wear it with the pants so I can have like a whole suit moment. Next thing that I got, I just got a simple little tank top. Super cute, love the blue with the yellow. It is so good and yeah, just, the easy fit some low-rise denim jeans the tank and whatever shoe i could do it with a boot i could do it with a sneaker i could do it with a heel next thing that i have oh my god i cannot wait to wear this i was supposed to wear it during my trip i just came back from europe i was supposed to wear it i didn't end up wearing it but it definitely will be worn soon it is this spear sweater the new season spring 2024 this is also from the men's collection but they also have a women's one. The women's one has the cow neck collar. I'll link the women's one as well as the men's one down below just for you guys. But yeah, this is the new first one. It's super, super cute. And yeah, zoom in. Let me show you guys real close. So this is the reference photo. This is Ralph Lauren, if you don't know. And then this is his wife, Ricky Lauren. So basically, they turned this picture into the beer sweater of them walking on the beach like so freaking cute like i had to have to have to have to uh, have this and add it to my b 
spare sweater collection. The next item, also from Ralph Lauren, I got some new sneakers, got some shoes. I've been wanting a pair of black sneakers for a while. I don't have any black sneakers in my wardrobe at all. So yeah, when I saw these, I was like, this is a good pair to add to my wardrobe. It is the Polo 67 sneakers. I call them the Ralph Amins because it looks like the Solomon sneaker, <laughs> but Ralph Lauren. So yeah, the Ralph Amins. All black, love the gray and the black lining. Love that it has the drawstring. They're super comfortable. I've worn them three times now and they're really, really comfortable. I even wore them yesterday for an eight hour shift and wore them all day and they were really, really comfortable. But yeah, love the all black look. They also come in a white, a navy, a olive. These are also unisex, so they are men's and women's, like I said. Once I find it, I will link it down below if you guys want to shop or buy any of the items that I'm talking about. And the next thing, when I, on my trip to Europe, one of the places I did go to was London. And I saw, I was walking, we were coming up the train, and I saw this magazine, the Dazed magazine, with my girl Victoria Monet on it. And I had to stop and buy it. I did not read it yet or look through it yet, but she looked good. And I don't have any magazines with Victoria on it. And I saw this and I was like, yeah, she has to come back with me. The next thing, I ended up getting a fragrance. I smelled this fragrance in September, 2023. I went to New Orleans with my mom and we were walking, I forgot which mall we were walking in, but a woman sprayed like the fragrance in the air and it smells so good. I stopped, she sprayed it on like a card for me. And I was like, no, this fragrance smells so, so, so good. So that fragrance has been on my mind since September. And then I ended up getting a Sephora gift card for Christmas. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna get this fragrance. So yeah, it is the Gucci Flora. This is the box in this cool purple floral moment. This is my second Gucci fragrance. The first one that I got was Gucci Guilty which I like, but I never re-upped on. I just really liked the bottle, like the gold bottle was so good. But yeah, this is the actual bottle. It is, as you guys can see, purple with the gold top. I love the contrast of the purple and the gold top and the floral, I don't know why it's not focusing. The gold top, the purple, the floral, it says Gucci Flora. And in the back it says bouquet. And then it has the description of what's inside of the fragrance. It says it's bouquet, magnolia essence, dewberries accord, and patchouli essence. So it's definitely very floral. Obviously it's called Gucci Flora. It has the flowers and the back of it says bouquet. So you know it's very florally, it's very sweet. And I really, really like the smell. I got so many compliments when I was in Europe when I had it on. So it was, very it was worth the money and worth the wait to finally have it in my fragrance collection last thing that i'm going to show you guys the pair resistance which you guys have been waiting for which you guys have seen in the title of this video i finally got my hermes h click h bracelet shout out to my brother he bought it for me so thank you again bro bought it when i <clears throat> we bought it when he bought it when we were in Paris and went into the Hermes store and he got himself a bracelet and then he bought me this one as well. I've been wanting this bracelet for a long time. Like it's been a couple years. And yeah, finally have it in my possession. And to add on to my bracelet collection and to, you know, create my stack. So yeah, of course you guys know the Hermes bag of orange with the brown handle. Since I got it, I literally have not taken it out of the box, opened it, or anything. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna film, of course, before I <laughs> open it, but yes. We love the cute little tie and packaging. So like I said, I got the Click H bracelet. What I just noticed going on the website, it is, they did have a price increase. If you don't know anything about designers, whenever something is 
basically they always have obviously right now it's inflation so a lot of things are going up in price period but this always happens with designer items once something gets very popular people are buying it a lot and then just the regular regular inflation of it all so what i did know when I first wanted this bracelet, it was like 600, and then it went to 620, and then this past summer I know it was 640, and now I'm on the Hermes website and it is $700, so it did have a price increase. So if you do want the bracelet, that is the new price. It is 700. So yeah, got the box, little ribbon. Voila. And then of course this is like the care how to take care of it and all that good good but it also has it on the website of how to take care of it so yeah a little dust bag so as you guys can see i got the skinnier one the slim one in the orange and the gold this is the one i have been wanting for forever the color is called orange frute <laughs> and if you don't know this bracelet is made in france it is obviously the narrow one in enamel with gold plated hardware and right now i'm looking at the larger one it is now 780 and the last time i remember checking it was 740 so it went from 740 to 780 so the braces did have a price increase and like i said this the website does tell you like how to take care of it what to do the be careful warning of course it is gold plated and yeah it comes in many colors it comes in the black it comes in white it comes in a blue a navy a purple but the orange has been always calling my name i love gold i'm a gold girl as you guys can see by the jewelry <laughs> and the rings so the origin gold is so so good i have to check if they do like a all gold one a all gold one would be actually that would be really really fire instead of having the color just do like gold all the way around i gotta look into that or maybe if you don't have it call me don't steal my idea <laughs> And then I did end up going, I tried on two sizes. I tried on the uh, the PM and the GM size, but I ended up getting the GM size. The PM was the smaller one. The GM is a little bit bigger. So PM, petite, GM, grand. So yeah, I did end up getting like the bigger size. Um, I did like the smaller size at first, but then what I thought about it with like styling purposes, I like to sometimes, if I wear like a button down shirt like this, or if it's like a larger button down shirt, I like to layer the jewelry over my shirt. So I felt like styling purposes, the larger one would be better in that sense of me styling it with like putting it over my shirt. So, you know, I always think about like styling and putting outfits together. So yeah, y'all, that is the haul. Of course, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I will link down below in my description box all of the items that you guys have seen here. Of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on my social medias at Bria Van Putin, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for my Europe vlog. I did vlog, so I have to edit that, put that together. So stay tuned for that. Go check out my previous videos. I posted a lot of shorts in the last week. So go check out all of my shorts. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Love. Deuces.